Okay, I'm going to do a material sample for peak equivalence transitivity representing numbers 9n. For this program, you're going to have three different steps. Um, so that means you're going to also have three different blocks for this program. And I will do a separate video to kind of show how to fill out one of these program sheets live and transfer it to the scoring sheet. But I'm just going to kind of talk you through the materials and kind of how to run it. And then you can also reference the demo of this program um, so you can see it run in full live. Um, so for train A to B, you're going to be presenting a number of items and an array of written numbers. So for example, for, you know, stimuli A, you're going to have five bears, nine poker chips, or two blocks for this example. So we just have two mega blocks for our class three, five bears for class one, and then just these little poker chips that there's nine of for class two. So to run A to B, you're going to present, you know, let's say those two for the participant, and then you're gonna lay out your number cards. I'm gonna kind of squish them in here so you can see them. So then you would say, you know, how many are there? And they would hopefully pick the correct number. For train class, for train A to B, you're gonna be able to prompt, um, get feedback, represent the stimuli, um, things like that. And obviously praise and reinforce. So that is how A to B would be run. For B to C, you're going to have, like I showed you for stimuli B, those written numbers. So stimuli A are going to be your items in the different numbers. Stimuli B are your number cards. And stimuli C are going to be your Roman numeral cards, just so you can kind of see that. Um, so A to B was the items with your array of written numbers. How many are there? B to C is also train, so you're going to be presenting feedback, reinforcing, prompting, and you are going to give a written number and put the Roman numerals in front of the participant, and you're going to ask, which is the same number? This would be the time. So this is the same number as this. Then you might shuffle them up. What's the same number as this? That would be the five in Roman numerals, which is the same number with this. And that would be an example of each of those trials for B to C. You're going to intermix those in a block of 10. And then your third block of 10 is test A to C. So that's going to be putting, you know, let's say whatever item you're running that trial for. And you're going to be putting the Roman numerals with that. And for tests, you're not giving any feedback, prompting, or reinforcing. You're just testing it. So you're going to ask the participant how many are there. This would be the correct answer. You're just going to be scoring 0 or 10 for this block and running those 10 trials. So another trial might be with the bears out and then the numbers in front of the participant and saying how many are there this would be the correct answer because there are five. Again, though, you wouldn't be able to give feedback, prompt, or reinforce. You're just testing, marking a 0, a 10 for that trial. So you have three blocks, one, two, and three, 10 trials within each. So you're going to intermix those different stimuli from A to B, train from B to C, and then test A to C. Once those 30 trials are complete, you've finished this program. So this is just a material sample of what items that you might want to potentially use. Um, but again, you could use any object in various numbers, any number cards, and then the Roman numerals that correspond with that. Um, so this is just, again, an example of what peak equivalence transitivity representing numbers 9n might look like.